So this car, it's an edition Range Rover with the wood on the side and it's actually drivable. It's actually, I'm gonna just share this information with you. The owner of this Range Rover is the owner of the red GT 911 that is just in front of you. Why not? Look, when you give money to a car fanatic, his car collection will never look normal. <laughs> what is your dream car? 911 GT3 RS and my car is the Ferrari. What is it? I, I even forgot. The G, yeah, the GTC for Luso, just because of the simple fact that it has four seats. And you can take it in a V12 or a V8. Okay, so let's go to this. The owner of the Chrysler and the Volkswagen. This car is fully restored to its original spec. The car number, the plate number, costs some hefty amount of money. And in Qatar, we consider it as follows. Date of birth, date of birth, date of birth. Why not? Yes. Oh yeah, it is different. I mean, because this one has the winch. It comes at is it? As it is. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It comes as it is. You just need to change the winch, but I think it's the original winch of the car also. Uh, man, the car of Saud. We featured it on the YouTube channel before. He spoke about the car in details, and it just looks immaculate. Uh, go on his YouTube channel, even though it's in Arabic, because he did another restoration for another car. This guy, he's in love with Toyotas. I mean, it's just crazy. Uh, it's really nice. It's a really nice street to have. This FJ Cruiser actually belongs to a friend of theirs. And if not mistaken, it's fully restored. Uh, actually, we had one car came that came yesterday. The gray one, it had uh, LS engine, Corvette seats, uh, heavy suspension, and I mean, it's, I hope we're gonna see it later, but I don't think so. This car just comes out like once every, I don't know when. Uh, and this car is just immaculate. I love the number plate. It has your number. <laughs> okay, so, I mean, go there, go there, go there, go. Don't show them, don't show them. Uh, this Dodge, actually, it's one of few other Dodges that the owner has and when treat for you this is one of the smallest trucks that he has I mean I'm 162 right I'm 162 right but still <laughs> so finding a seat in Doha it's easy but finding a Dodge, a Dodge? Uh, no 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 really it's very rare and these trucks actually in the States he said it's very hard to find and he has few of them, and it's very hard to drive unless you know how to drive. Yeah, yeah, I've seen some <laughs> struggling. <laughs> struggling. I will try and find these videos to do them as a bluebirds or something, because come on, the thing that we went through to prep everything, because each and every car that you see in front of you has a certain way of driving, and <laughs> it's just not easy. Uh, this C10 actually belongs to 767 AutoCare. They brought it. Uh, fully repainted, needs minor polish. Uh, play, it, it needs some polish in certain places, but we're not going to show the defects. This car is fully restored, and it costed them around 120 to 160 thousand to restore it from A to Z. It was not like that when they received it, and it still has some minor things to do in the interior, and that's it. It's just, uh, and you still have the sticker for export. <laughs> this car belongs to a friend that came from Saddam side and some other friends that we met in the parade at night in the private road in Al Hazm. It belongs to uh, someone important. We're not going to say the family name. And this car actually is not really restored as much as it got revived. They had to find all the chromes and all the chromes are like pure stock from the states the lights some parts on the grill uh, the rims the tires some 
uh, parts in the interior because I mean look at the interior it's just immaculate and this car is not very easy to drive also each and every car has its own thing right the wheel yes it's old but it's part of the car this sheen this is very hard to find in Qatar no never no no it's from the factory that's why there is a small difference between them like these came literally from the factory this was never been changed and special thanks to him because he brought this car here because I mean uh, to have it here is just crazy uh, it's for for us it's a real treat this guy has this mini modified Toyota Corolla with this pistachio color with the tan interior with the rims and everything this guy actually came yesterday he said, can I leave the car here? And I, I was asking him, like, do you want to leave it here? Or you want to just park it and leave with it later? And he's like, you know what? Let's leave it here. I'm going to go take an Uber or something. And for him to keep this car here is just a treat for us. People are happy with these events. So we have to try and keep the... Third generation Corolla. Exactly. It came out in 1974. Yeah. yeah. And the, this is something that he told you yesterday, right? Uh, it has. <laughs> it has a Nissan Stereo. I think the door is open now, it's closed. It's <laughs> People were happy about the fact that it's a manual gearbox. Uh, guys, last but not least, feast your eyes on the first ever, ever, ever El Kabi's car. A Trans Am that is lifted? I mean, come on, look at the girth and at the wing from the back. This car, we've noticed it in the custom show, and it's just, I mean, it's just crazy. I mean, just, pff. you wanna? I was going to take one, one of the cars from this event for a weekend. I would definitely go with it. <laughs> I was driving it yesterday. Yeah. And it's just, it's just something else. Guys, we're gonna start some of the cars for you, just to get a feel of it. Uh, but it's just, I mean, look at this. Method wheels. MashaAllah, tabarak al-Rahman. Kabi sayartik wa la If I had to change one thing, I'm gonna put back this into red, and that's it. Just to complement the back. Second Trans Am. Yeah, yeah, also the bond, yeah, okay. for sure. No, no, for sure, just small touches and khalas. Another Trans Am, and another Trans Am. You know, I wanted to call someone that has at least seven Trans Ams, but I was gonna say now, come on, the show's gonna become a Trans Am show, right? This Trans Am actually belongs to our dear friend, Ali Dallul, that we shot with in the Qatar Custom Show, and he was talking about his club, of Trans Ams. The final part of the Custom Exactly. And this guy and this car, believe it or not, this car traveled the GCC countries by road. I don't know the mileage, but this car traveled literally, literally traveled all the GCC countries. It's a nice treat to have in this event and in Qatar. And then let's go to the 400 Trans Am. I mean, this car is immaculate. We met the owner, we know the owner. The owner loves this car. And he almost daily drives it because the AC is perfect. And it's just a treat to have. And then, last but not least, the Z has, <laughs> Saddam was saying, it has a racing clutch. <laughs> yeah, it's not very easy to drive. I'll just show you the interior, but it's not. I, I, for me, it's not an easy car to drive because you really have to be strong. The stereo is mounted. It's vertical. <laughs> there is no place. These cars are so fun to drive, like literally. And uh, that's it. Special thanks to Al Hazm. Special thanks to Jasim Al Amadi. Special thanks to McLaren Cafe. Uh, the sponsors, Haggard Garage, 767 Auto Care, Detailer in Al Hazm, uh, who else? Okay. Numbers underscore QAT, Saud Al Ansari Social Media, Hamad Adrid Social Media, Fat Social Media, 
our dear friends. Uh, I'm not gonna say no to thanking Anupam personally, since we are part of this. Uh, the guy, I literally called him and told him, you know what, I will do a custom show, or I will do a show, or I'll do a classic show, whatever. Can I get your approval? I'm not gonna take anything from you money, but... And he said yes. Believe it or not, we did this event, all this, in, less than, less than a week, right? <laughs> in five days. Five days yeah. And for me, it's a success. It's a real success. Everyone was happy about it, and they were saying, kindly talk to Al-Hazm, and let's try and do it again and again and again and again, so there could be a part two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, who do we have else to thank? To thank? I don't know. Satam? Yes, uh, Satam. All the other friends that we met here? Abdurrahman al Shuli, Alex, Cardoha, uh, Card uh, Culture, uh, JDM, Fazlan, uh, who else? Uh, ANG, Asil. Uh, man, come on. As soon as I go. I'm, I'm, wait, wait, wait. You cannot thank everyone, okay? Link in the description for those that supported us and that are supporting us. There's someone else, Shots by Ansari. Right? Uh, there are so many people because. Rimal Kbesi. She's the new uh, <laughs> kid in the block. Uh, 974 Exotics. I'm gonna say it in Arabic. Ya Shabab Ya Banat. 974 Exotics. I'm not YouTube, my Beni Ana wa Anupa. Okay? 974 Exotics. Mr. Eddin, Yidamunkum. Sawaan, Manhajian. Madian Bikun Shay Basit. Just Ashan Bas. We push you as an best Nedam Kumshay Basit, Mabal of Mushkira Taban, like in best as an Hisun and a Fiatima for Shilgat Sawana. So, what I'm saying is 974 Exotics, me and Anupam, we are into supporting the young generation and the photographers and the videographers and the content creators. We're going to help you with everything. Yes, we will pay, but it's going to be small amounts just to give you a push and to give you a certain importance uh, and give some, some importance to the things that you are doing and uh, we will back you up in whatever you need because at the end 974 exotics is a youtube channel that is promoting the car culture in Qatar and promoting everything around it 974 exotics are not youtube في قطر صاحب اللغه الانجليزيه بين شخصين ولكن احنا حابين ندعم المجتمع القطري للسيارات زاد الاشخاص اللي قاعد يصورون هالسيارات ويسوون عليها كونتنت و ثانك يو فيري ماتش شكرا جزيلا سبسكرايب منشن شير all of this was not going to be possible without you. كل هذا اللي قاعد تشوفونه قدامكم ما كان راح يكون بدونكم. شكرا جزيلا. Thank you, Anupam, for everything. And cheers.